you can also do all this adding and removing attributes from the bottom toolbar here but by default the tools are hidden if you go to this little arrow downward po pointing arrow button here you can add flagging rating color labels rotation navigation and all kind of things I'm just gonna add everything here and have a look at what we have so you have the view options you have the grid view by default but you can change to a loop view where you can look at a single image at a time and you can choose what image you're looking at from the film strip down here you can see images side by side especially if you have to compare uh, two images here let's see so I have select and then I'm gonna click in the candidate that's just what they're called uh, window and choose the other one and you can compare them side by side and you can swap them uh, or you can just empty one and but right now I don't really want to do that so I want to go back to this and swap them back uh, and you have a survey view where it just shows you the images that you have selected so you can hold shift or control to select multiple images and only those will be visible here and you can also have just photos of people uh, and I don't know if you've ever used in Google images the search for faces feature it's the same kind of thing it just looks at your images finds faces and groups them uh, to well for you to be able to find them easily so I'm gonna switch back to the grid view uh, you still have the sort option here when they were added how much time you spent editing them uh, what their rating is what their name is all kinds of things can help you change their order and you can do from uh, a to Z to from Z to A from one to bigger numbers from bigger numbers to one all kinds of things like these so you can reverse the order basically and then you can just choose several images again using control for example holding control on the keyboard and you can apply these attributes flagging ratings colors rotation from down here so I can apply a rating let's say of two to all of these at the same time reject all of them and make them purple and I could also ro rotate them but I don't want to it's the same thing that you find on the thumbnail but it's easier if you're working with multiple images at the same time to do it like this uh, if uh, you can al also move from one image to the next from these two buttons and you can view a slideshow if you click uh, play here but it's gonna take a while for it to to generate this especially since I have that many images so this is again just for viewing you can try it out if you have the uh, uh, curiosity and the time but I'm not gonna wait for it to generate a slideshow right now uh, though I could do this for a smaller folder but it's not that important and as we've seen in the import dialog box you have the slider to increase and decrease the size of the thumbnails here uh, so you can have whatever kind of view you want